Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy Michael. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial. Today, four armors. Okay, as some of you guys have noticed, I am actually wearing chain armor. And some of you guys have noticed that chain armor actually, if you look on your skill level, is locked. If you go to your click L to go to your your skill level, pardon me, and you travel over, is usually locked behind warhorse handling right here. But for me, it's unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to show you how you can unlock some armors right at the beginning of the game. But that's actually going to require that we go back to the character creation menu. So I'll meet you there. Alrighty, so we are back on the character creation screen. You pass this when you enter into your game. What you're going to do now is you're going to go and create a new character. Alright, so just go ahead and this is the name, the family name. None of these are really important. What is important though is you're going to want to set your race to this last one. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but that is going to lower all of your combat skills so that you can set them, um, unlocking as many skills as possible. Now, if we take a second and we look at this chart, okay, we'll notice that, in fact, that there are five different armors, okay, and that the uh, that they all are unlocked in secondary spots none of them are original spots okay so we have chainmail armors padded armors scale armors and plate armors and leather armors all of which have to be unlocked after 60 skill points okay and chainmail armor is the easiest armor to build unfortunately war horses have not been not been implemented into the game yet so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go to our character if we want to unlock chainmail because chainmail is the easiest to create we're gonna want to go to the character and bring up warhorse handling all the way up to 60 now because we have our character race set as a um Calisinian, i believe that will allow us to set that up and also change one of our other skills high enough that we can use basic weapons. Okay, so it is a pain in the butt to find swords that you can use at a lower level. In fact, almost all the swords, and actually all the swords in two-handed two -handed blade mastery, including the training sword, require at least level 30. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set one of these skills up to about 30. So I'm gonna go with two-handed because, or one-handed because I like using a sword and shield in most games. Now, if you if you look, it's actually pushing down all my other skills too. Okay, but not to worry. Throwing weapon, throwing weaponry can be uploaded or raised through the use of a sling or the use of a bow. And militia service can be uh, raised through the use of just normal weapons and attacking people. Okay, so I'm gonna bring us back into the game. Alright, so welcome back. Now, if you go ahead and hit the L button and go over to the next page, you'll see your combat skills. Now, if you look at your combat skills and you did what I recommended, you will see that you have Warhorse Handling of 60, which has unlocked Chainmail Armors, and that you have Blade Mastery of 30, which has unlocked Scale Armors. Now, both these stats are currently at zero, but you can wear very, you can wear the very lowest level of those armors so the light armors okay and i currently have equipped a full set of light chainmail armor as you can see alrighty and i the reason why i recommend unlocking chainmail armor versus the plate the plate armor and the leather armor is that chainmail only requires metal and finding your first couple pieces of leather is going to be a pain in the butt and it's rather time consuming so i would suggest following this tree that i recommended all right and if you want to level it up all you need to do is find a buddy on the server and have them hit you with a shovel just hit the as long as they're hitting you in a piece of your armor your skill will level up if you're wearing chainmail armor like this as long as they hit the chainmail armor they will level up your chainmail now if i was wearing scale mail on the my body and they hit my body then i would level up my scale mail all right and that would unlock shovel or shield mastery then the same thing goes you just need to hit the shield which will unlock axe and ma mastery which will eventually unlock piercing mastery anyways thanks for watching guys i hope this helped and if it did let me know if you want to see another tutorial let me know about that all right guys thanks for watching like fair subscribe all tells me out you guys keep being good guys and i will see you in the next one take it easy Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.